Hey, welcome to Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. This is a long-going series. Um, it's an arcade-based game. Apparently it's VR compatible, which I would imagine you would throw up if you played that. I've never played VR before, so I, I, I don't know. I'm being biased. If you get the PlayStation version, um, I think from GameStop, or at least you had to pre-order it. I don't really remember. Don't sue me. Um, not that I would have anything to give you. Um, it came with Ace Combat 5. I'll say I'm um, a lot in this video, so it's whatever. So sue me. So, um, this, I said it again. So this is a less than stellar situation right now. Um, the lighting in my house, like I might have to get a lamp. I had a ceiling fan and it basically, um, by the way, this is how you buy your planes. I don't know if I like this that much, but um, yeah, the ceiling fan died on me. I don't know how and involved that is to fix it i live in an apartment so i'm not allowed to touch anything but this is this is pretty cool i think that's a vietnam jet i'm not sure i'm not a jet expert why would you think that but um this game's really cool unfortunately i'm going to show you that's my favorite plane of all time i believe it's called the a10 I have a model that I bought for it that I've yet to finish it and I've tried to make it look battle damaged. Um, I don't know if I poked holes in it or not to look like bullet holes, but I definitely paint it like the paint scraping off of it. Like I love using that for bombing runs. So um, a little bit about my history with um, Ace Combat. Um, it was actually called Air Combat on the PlayStation 1, so I don't know if that helps give you any, any clue about my, um, Ace Combat history. My favorite game of all time is, um, Ace Combat 2, which was the sequel to Air Combat, and it was, it was just fun, um, I like arcade jet games, maybe not like Afterburner, but I would be lying to you a little bit because I actually bought a joystick for um, Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. How I got that to run on my PC is beyond me because when I worked at um, a PC manufacturing plant, like, they couldn't get it to run the highest settings. So this is a beautiful game. Now, um, one thing I will say, like, I don't think the consoles, at least, are really prepared for using the Unreal Engine 4. Like, because I've seen Unreal Engine 3 looks so amazing like Batman Arkham Knight and Justice 2 I know I'm naming Batman games um the new Mortal Kombat apparently runs on the Unreal Engine 3 and it looks like rendered real characters but I do like the cockpit view that was introduced in Ace Combat 3 we got a lesser version of Ace Combat when it came to three, like there was extra missions in the Japanese version, which is really cool. But the Unreal Engine 4 always looks really soft to me. There's only a few games, and if I listed them, that looked really nice. Um, Spyro, is it? I, I can't remember what the subtitle was. Um, but the Spyro mate remake that looked really good um i i'm not a fan of fortnite but i feel like that looks fairly good so it, it depends um you can see the trees rendered um i feel like the 
Unreal Engine 3 or 4 has a softer look where Unreal Engine 3 looks sharper. I feel like that will be alle alleviated and the new consoles that are coming out. Just like Unreal Engine 3 didn't look all that great. Well, it looked good, but it had a soft look to it. So I'm hoping that it'll look good. Um, hopefully you won't get sick from watching this. But um, I'm using a F-14. Is that the gun from Top... Or the plane from Top Gun? I really like it. Um, I wish I could do some bombing runs. Um, the weather effects are really good. I'm gonna say um at least 500 times in this video But the way like the ice and the condensation on your On your cockpit looks really cool. I know a lot of a lot of reviewers are like these planes look so good, but I Don't see it. I feel like they look as good as um, Ace Combat 4 but, you know, I don't know, because then when I went to go play 5, like, it was night and day, like, the edges were sharper and stuff like that, so, this continues some fake war story, which I, I can't, I kind of wish that they would just, like, sorry, I heard upstairs, I kind of wish that they would just, like, stick with it arcade fighting but apparently people were really engaged in the story but I feel like the story was started with um, Ace Combat 3 sorry I had a brain fart there um, it's been really stressful but I really wanted to make a video unfortunately I would plug this up directly into the PC so it would do all the processing but like I said, my room is pitch black and I don't feel like taking the flashlight and holding everything. This is kind of a bombing run. Um, I was hoping that I would use my A10, but that's reserved for certain things. But I, I love the little, the little, the large engines on, on the back of it. Like I think, I think that looks so cool. And the model that I was building looks really cool. Unfortunately, living in an apartment now, I can't use like things like turpentine and stuff like that are highly, highly corrosive, not corrosive, like, but highly caustic chemicals. So I'm not able to do that. I started to actually paint it with acrylic paint, which it kind of it kind of looked right. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes, like the enamel paint looks really shiny, but you know, whatever. So um, when you first start this game, it actually says, "Do you want advanced controls or um, beginner controls?" Which I feel like at this point in time with Ace Combat, like, you should be accustomed to, um, advanced controls, and all that is, is instead of turning automatically, you actually have to roll, but, like, the little effects, like, one addition to this game, beside the weather, is you can do, like, a... Maybe that was in the other games, but I played most of these. I have the one on Xbox 360, and it seemed cool, but a little bit sterile. But, um, in the one on PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360, like Ace Combat 6, I actually really liked that dog fighting mode where you actually could see, like, the little pieces of your plane break off. Um, I'm sorry if this video isn't that interesting. Like I said, it's it's been quite a time. Um, really, like I haven't gotten back to this game. Like I've been obsessed with Resident Evil 2. Right now, I'm playing Claire's campaign. I really hope they make more of that. Like 
That game is amazing. It's probably going to be my game of the year, assuming that I can still make videos. But um, I was I was gonna either make it Far Cry or Spider Man, but Resident Evil came out this year. I can't imagine anything getting better than that. But there's a lot of games I'm looking forward to, like Metro Exodus, um, Mortal Kombat 11. I mean, I know it's probably more the same, but I really, I really like the formula and the characters look gorgeous. And ironically enough, based on Wikipedia, they could got their information wrong because that's been known to happen from time to time. Um, it runs on Unreal Engine 3 and it looks gorgeous like the facial animations and everything. It looks like what I thought that 3D Mortal Kombat would look like because I was used to the digital characters. Now you can see the condensation. I don't know how well because I'm looking at a tiny screen. I'm so scared about what this is going to look like. I was so disappointed the Resident Evil remake I, I might do a, a different campaign on Resident Evil just to show you how gorgeous it is because there was so much um, what, what would be the term macro blocking it's like a uncompressed YouTube video which looks like shit to be honest with you um, the lighting wasn't right. I was so disappointed, but for right now, that's what I can do. But hey, at least I'm making videos again. So that's something. Um, one of the things I would like to do, like I always say I would like to do, is maybe look into like, uh, not a cheap cor camcorder, but a fairly, fairly decent one and go around town. I know I talked about that a lot. I love the little, I, I don't even know what you would call it, like the little fog effect on your wings. So if you um, push L1 and L2 based on what you're playing as, like you have like these little G-force turns. I don't know if that's a realistic thing. I'm not an expert like in and planes but it looks really cool um if you're gonna get a version i would definitely recommend getting the playstation 4 version on the playstation 4 pro version if you can because apparently it runs better than the xbox one which is unheard of and i'm not a fanboy like i have that system but it, it looks so cool, like the volumetric clouds and stuff like that, like it does look really good, like I need to get back to it and pull myself away Resident Evil. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I've also been playing Kingdom Hearts, which I've actually really, really loved. Although, for a game that's based on kids, there's, it's quite involved. Like, Resident Evil was more my speed, but this this whole um, tree thing about, like, upgrading your planes and, and like, having to purchase them this way, I, I don't like that as much. But I will say that the trees and everything is gorgeous, but I will say it's not, like above and beyond like the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 3 versions of Ace Combat but I have a soft spot for this game ever since Ace Combat 2 I absolutely loved it like I, I went back and played it like it was a fairly rare game for a certain amount of time but I went back and played it it looks so archaic and then Ace Combat 3 it was like this has futuristic elements, but it was like super futuristic where like a lot of your planes I don't believe existed at the time, but the Japanese version like I said had extra levels and anime cutscenes and it was really cool. And then um, this sounds really horrible, but um, 
play Ace Combat 4 came around September 11th. So, like, I was all... I was, like, all into it. Like, especially since they made levels based in, like, mountains and bombing them and stuff like that. Not that that's cool or anything, but... You know, like, kids are obsessed with the Vietnam War back in the 60s and stuff like that. Hopefully I won't get in trouble for saying that. Like, I'm not trying to be insensitive. It's a video game. Nobody gets hurt. But, like, that one, that one I, I really liked. But it was just because of the political climate going on at that point in time. But you see, like, that little speckled effect and stuff like that. Um, I would definitely recommend this, but this is really a niche game. Like, I don't know if everybody's gonna like it. Like, the Ace Combat game sold decently, but it, it's, it's not gonna be like your Call of Duty, which... I, I purchased half off because I felt like if it's an online only game, it, it should be half off. I got it at Christmas time. Like, if I was still working and I, w I was just like obsessed with getting like the newest games. Um, that Far Cry um, game looks kind of cool. I loved Far Cry 5, but. It's really like an expansion pack, to be honest with you, and it's forty dollars. Um, to be honest with you, the game I'm looking for most is Metro Exodus, but like I said, like you're gonna have to pull me away from Resident Evil Four. Like I said, that's in my opinion, that's the best game. Like um, these little replays and the little. little camera controls and stuff like that it looks so good like like I said I contradicted myself um, I said that they didn't look as good as at least the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 I think it does look a little bit better than the PlayStation 2 versions because everything's kind of jagged and simplified but the PlayStation 4 version I don't know whether it's a pre-order bonus or whatever. It came with five, which, which is really cool because I don't think you can buy it on the store. But these replays look really awesome. Um, if you like these kind of games, I would definitely recommend them. Um, they're really, they're really awesome. And then on the commercials, I saw them driving in under bridges and stuff like that. So. This is kind of a mundane level, but look at the tree detail. I know I keep on obsessing about the tree, but they're individually rendered and it looks really cool. Um, the only thing I will say that I don't like about this game are um, escort missions, which seems to be a theme in these games. So if Namco, if you're listening, quit that shit. Escort missions, nobody likes those. That's so awesome when the wings open up. But, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm glad you guys have been so patient with my channel. Guys and girls, if any girls are watching my channel. But, um, I'll try to be better at posting new videos. But thank you so much. I hope you're all doing well. And take care. If you want to, like, comment, and subscribe! Thanks for watching!